Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. This is the Lost Tales of Axioth. Every dog has his day campaign. I know, guys. It's quite the mouthful. We're on episode 2, and we're going to go around, and we're going to grab up the Idol of Valor, and we're going to get one more Might. And then we're going to come over here and snag this. And then we're going to be like, well, crap, what do we do now? Because everything is way too powerful for us to deal with. These are jumping guys, so they'll kill us. Ah, uh, boy. Those, probably not super easy to deal with either. And every turn that we do not take these fights is another turn that it they get more and more powerful. This is uh, not great, because I wasted at least a half a week, if not an entire week, doing literally nothing of any value or use. So we're significantly behind the gun right now, and I'm not sure that we can recover from it, to be honest. I mean, I suppose it's possible, but highly, highly unlikely. <sighs> um... I suppose we could try fighting that. Maybe we survive it. Uh, we don't have enough oomph to kill these guys, so that's out. We're not getting any more centaurs, so our ranged power is diminishing rapidly. We don't have that many troops to begin with, so even our melee powers are pretty minuscule. Not really all that impressive. Granted, these guys all do cap out, if I believe correctly, or if I recall correctly. They should all cap out at a certain point. And as such, we may end up being okay-ish, but we'll see. We'll see. Huh. They're waiting, and they're faster than we are too, which is also awkward and slightly shameful. Alright, so what we're going to do here is attack this guy. Follow it up with an attack from our gals here. Bam! Alright, so they are actually down. That helps us a little bit here. Um, not sure we can do a tremendous amount with the rest of our folks, but we're going to give it a shot. I have a pretty bad feeling about all of this. They're going to be able to double move and get to us quite easily. It's not going to be pleasant. Yep. They're going to double move and they're just going to annihilate our back lines. It's going to be awful. It's going to be absolutely abysmal, folks. And they're quite a bit quicker than we are, too. Wasn't really expecting that to be your first attempt. Little dudes are getting smacked. Yep. At least they dropped him. They're gonna get hit again, though. Yeah. It is so not the good. Oh, really? You guys are gonna skip your turn, oddly. Hmm. Well, we'll attack again, and we'll try for this kill. And we got it. I'm actually mildly impressed. Little tiny bit of extra damage there. I'm gonna go for the kill on you and get it. And we have enough to do a little bit more damage onto you and maybe even end you. Nice. So we're gonna lose two more of you? That's my guess. Yep, two more, and that's that. Well, could have gone way better. Could have gone way, way worse. Uh, quite a brutal, if you ask me. Very, very brutal. Alright, what do we have here? We have friendly creatures, get one movement. Friendly creatures and blood rage only... Uh, suffer only half of direct damage from spells. And uh, two times the current blood rage is added to the morale of all friendly. Really? Warfare? That was the, that was the other skill you decided to go with? Well, this is not going well. Um... Destiny, not too bad. Alright, I guess we do this. Every time we kill a, a 
stack, we'll actually get some more a morale. Which wouldn't be terrible for us. Alright, I don't know that we can kill those guys, but maybe we can? That seems highly unlikely. We should end up waiting for another week, but if we do, chances are it's just going to get more and more and more and more difficult as we go. Same thing with this. That would be nice, but there's so many ranged units. Same thing there. So many ranged units. I wish that they would join us. That would be fantastic. Alright, I think the play is going to be... Oh, man, there's literally no play. Well, perhaps we just head over to our fort for one final go and we try it from there. I don't know. Again, the, the delay in finding my troops at the beginning really kind of set us back a lot. End our turn and do it one more time. Hey! Dragon blood crystal things are better. Yay! Well, looks like we had enough money for that. But again, to what end? Well, we can give this a shot. I think it's going to go poorly. They easily outnumber us. I just want to see what quick combat shows. Oh, we get defeated. Oh, we're definitely going to play that manually. I'm pretty sure I can do better than getting defeated. But I'm not 100% certain that's actually a thing that's going to happen. I'm only hoping. Alright. That we can be victorious and not die. We'll see. Only time. We'll tell. Man, that is so many bad guys. Alright. Really, you guys are just going to start doing this double move over and over, huh? Mm, I'm going to wait for right now. Now I'm going to cast it because of reasons. I don't really know why, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, so what's the biggest threat to us right now? Probably the Griffins and the Pirates. I'm going to go with the Pirates being the biggest threat. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the Orcs are a pretty massive threat too, but... I feel like the Griffins and the Pirates can then traverse the map way better than the others. We might even be able to kill them here. Do we get high luck? Nope. They got hit fairly weak, actually. That was a bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. They're a retaliatory strike. Ooh, this is probably gonna hurt. Ow, we killed. Got two of our guys killed, but we managed to kill off those. And now both the Griffins and the Pirates are gonna come forward. Ooh, the Pirate didn't quite make it. Wait, are you gonna wait again or are you gonna come at me? Oh, she waited again. That's actually not so bad. Alright, what are we going to be able to do here? We're going to go with Engage. So all of our melee combatants are going to be slightly better. Alright, we need to start thinning the herd, as they say. I don't, I'm not sure who says that, but I'm sure it's a saying that someone said somewhere along the way at some point. Ooh, a little bit of chip damage there. I don't hate it. I'm going to try to do a little bit more here. And then hopefully we get high enough morale that we can do this twice. And it didn't do a lot. Oh, we're going to be attacked. Holy crap. That was pretty tremendous. Where did that come from? Alright, well we're going to attack you from the top side of life. Hope that we outrange the others. It looks like their morale is fairly low. And it's increasing our blood rage some. We hit again. It's going to be a bit unpleasant, but again, not the end of the universe. Why do they keep waiting? This is so strange. Alright, what's up next? We're going to kill off you. Well, we hoped we were going to kill off you, but unfortunately that's not a reality. Some damage to you. And maybe a little bit to you. Ooh, a little bit more. There we go. Four kills. 
Oh, we're definitely not losing this one, at least not yet. Bam. Bap him, a little low morale for that guy. Gonna take out the Griffins. We're gonna try to avoid the others. Pretty sure we've done a fairly decent job at this so far. Can definitely drop you. Very nicely done. And potentially also drop you, though I highly doubt it. Nah, we're not gonna risk it. We're gonna hit you with a 5 to 8 to the face. 5 to 8 to the face. And then we're gonna kill you off. Ooh, we get to go again. Yeah, we've got this. We'll be able to kill the four, guaranteed. Alright, we're gonna roam around to the back side of you and slip it a slap right upside the back. Down you go, fool. How dare you challenge my supremacy. Not bad we lost nine guys as opposed to completely being defeated. But dear lord, that was not an easy task at all. Alright, so we have that now. Um, hmm. Guess we'll go and see what's over here. Is that a sanctuary? It is a shelter, okay. I gotta tell you guys, I'm a bit concerned. I'm a little nervous. I'm a bit worried. I definitely need more troops than what I'm getting right now. And it's not pleasant. Like I said, I'm not entirely certain that I can survive this particular map. That could be an interesting fight. At least some mysterious crypt, though. I don't know if I necessarily need that. So I don't know if I necessarily need that. Pretty sure I can't take that fight either. So where do we go from here? Like, I can't win most of these fights. Ooh, a mercenary tower. I think I kind of need that. Dang. Can't move there. I can move there. I can move there. Can't move there. Well, I guess we'll just take it one fight at a time, though. This seems like it's highly unlikely that I would be victorious as well. I don't know, folks. I am struggling a little bit here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, it's a bit of a struggle. They're, like, almost all ranged, too. Uh, whatever. We're gonna go this way. Oh! There was a storyline uh, thing that popped up there. I wonder what that was. You know what, guys and gals, we're going to actually reload to see. I'll move a little bit slower and we'll hope that it actually works again. We'll see. I, I don't like skipping storyline stuff, especially when that's kind of the whole point of most of the Let's Plays, is to actually show off some of the storyline, the campaign, and all the other stuff on top of the gameplay. The, the first looks are more for the gameplay, but full LPs, they're all about the story. So we're going to go a little bit slower than that. What's your problem, Wharton? Can't you let me tell the story? No. I don't know how they managed to make a copy of the Sword of Frost. They probably had someone who knew what it looked like. Why do you keep coming back to that part? The only... That's only the beginning of my story. There's a lot more left. I still had to make sure General Adrin didn't open his mouth. I knew if everyone found out that I failed to save the world, nowhere would be safe for me. I would be more hated than Kilgore. I didn't want that. I saw a strange scarecrow in a cornfield once and asked some children what it was supposed to be. They told me it was Kilgore, the Destroyer. I didn't want my face to be on a scarecrow somewhere. See, that was worth it. I think that was worth it. Hmm. Oh, we can grab some wood and we can try this again. I have my doubts as to whether or not we're going to be able to do this. I think this is going to be absolutely disgusting for us, but let's give it a shot. We won't know until we give it our best, so let's give it everything we've got. We'll give it all we've got. Hopefully it'll be enough. Oh good, the mermaids get to go first. Oh, they have those. Wonderful. Yes, perfect. Exactly how I planned it. Okay, now that that's over. Let's kill off you. This seems like a horrible idea. Let's do it. Are we going to get shot at too? No? Uh, 
Alright, we can't kill two of you. We can only kill one. But maybe we get lucky with the high morale or luck? No? No? Okay. No high morale or luck. I'm gonna attempt to do some damage to you because I feel like you're the most deadly of our enemies here. And potentially with the high morale? Yeah! Dropping fools. Alright, we're going to be able to get a tiny bit closer. He's dead. Or she. I guess they're harpies. Or furies. So they're dead from that for sure. That's going to hurt. You're going to almost die from it. We're going to continue to dwindle our forces slowly. But eh, we might survive it. I don't know. Alright, we're going to get shot here. It's going to be very unpleasant. Yep. It was not the wrong. That was not wrong. Alright, what do we have? We have three here that we can do. We can do two to three onto you. And we can do one to two onto you as well. And one more. Oh, but with high luck, maybe two? Two! Down you go. No more attacks from you. Alright, we're gonna flank you as best we can. And a slap, we killed seven, which is great. That was our high end, so very good. Now you're going to waddle on over and get yourself killed. 16 damage, I scoff at you, and I cut you. I cut you real deep. All right, the Myrmid Myrmidon Mermaid is going to sit there and do nothing. And we're going to get our little dude shot one more time, but we should be able to end the rest of these without much issue. Five of you are down, and you are officially done. Things are looking bad for our ragtag squad of ragtatitudes, but the good news is we just unlocked another place where we can hire various creatures, so that is a very good thing. Well, we'll have to recruit all. I'm sure our morale will suffer a little bit for it, but what can we do, right? Oh, there's a gate. A garrison with... hmm, wonderful. Alright, well, we're going to have to hope that we're able to do something with that. There's no guarantee, but we'll end our turn and see what's next. I do not know that we have enough to get a sun deer on our side, or another one. We got a few out of that. How does that... that puts us at an average threat assessment here. Which is far less terrifying than the previous one. We'll start combat, we'll go through this, we'll see if we can't do some more picking off and whatnot, but we really need more gold, and we just simply are not able to obtain it, I guess you could say. Which is a bit troubling. I would like my little doggies back. Thank you. Alright, so the Chthonians are going to come flying through the ground. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. I know waiting is a bad idea because we're going to lose blood rage every time we wait and like a significantly large portion of it as well. I'm going to open fire. We're going to start doing a little tiny bit of damage to these guys. With the high morale, which is ironic, and the very good luck there, uh, we can probably do a little bit of chip damage. Not too bad overall. Bam, not bad. Oh, man. For a mixed uh, bag of uh, units, this is actually going pretty decently. The morale, my goodness. But, yeah, eventually he's going to move and it's going to be quite unpleasant. Alright, we're going to go with... Engage! I don't know how much damage he's going to do, but I bet it's going to hurt. So we're going to have our Sun Deers hopefully be able to soak up a good portion of it. But I, I figured we'd lose at least one in the, uh, the process here. Kind of hoping that he either waits his turn or... Yeah, I was worried about this. He attacked our Centaurians. And I was hoping that that actually wouldn't happen. Um... Okay, not only did he attack our Centaurs, he broke our Centaurs. Because I cannot target the person I want to kill. So I guess we're going to back up with you. Hmm. Oh, I can't target at all. Oh, goody. Well, how wonderful for me. Oh, broken game is broken, folks. 
Broken game is broken. Well, we might have to auto load again. Jeez, this game. Uh, is it even able to move? Oh, I can target it now. Okay. Well, that's not that bad then. Well, it is, because I just kind of moved everyone on top of him like an idiot, but. Still, could have been far, far worse. Alright, well, we're gonna attack you and, and get our little footman here smacked pretty hard. But theoretically, it won't be too bad. Move you back over here. Move you up over here. Oh, you get to move again. Yay! Do damage! Alright, 4 to 12. We're gonna give it our best shot here. And we'll be able to do a little bit more damage this time around. Attack from there. 5 to 7, 7 to 9. Oh, not bad. We have to go again. 3 to 4. And now he gets to move. Who is he actually going to go after? And will we be able to target him after the fact? Oh, he went after... Huh. That seemed kind of like a silly move. I'm just saying. Seems a tad silly. Alright, so baby attacks all around. Well, we definitely wounded some of our folks, but overall, I gotta say, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Still wish I didn't lose my centaurs. I feel like that's a pretty big kick in the pants, you know? Alright, what are you guys? Come on, let me see the army. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna head over this way though. Looks like if we get in there, there might be there's something there. Uh, we can probably handle that. All right, we'll come over this way, and oh, there's a town or some sort of thing over here. Well, that's cool. Or is that just another fort? Quest updated. Give a dog a bad what? Give a dog a bad name. The Arathian General Adrin, or, yeah, Adrin, knows that Dog Woggle is alive and he wants to capture him to put him on trial for allowing the destruction of the world and murder of thousands. Dog Woggle values his life too much to let that happen. Capture a town, defeat Adrin's forces, and capture New Hope. Yay, there is hope again, folks. There is hope. We have a town. I really didn't think there would be a town. I'm kind of surprised that there is. But I gotta tell you, I'm really, really happy there's a town. Because things were looking pretty bad. We have a thieves guild in town, apparently. Yeah! Dog Woggle Team 1! Alright, sweet. Alright, so what are we gonna do now? We are gonna start recruiting. Recruition is key. And oh, dear lord, do we need it. Pretty badly, in fact. Uh, yeah. Gonna recruit all of you. Alright folks, I think that is the perfect place to break off this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you guys again real soon with another episode of Might Magic Hero 7, HOM 7, if you will. Uh, the Lost Tales of Axioth, every dog has his day. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>